hello my dear students i hope you all have been doing well so now we are uh, here from here we are uh, going to start our part 3 of lecture number 2 and uh, this is about uh, glucose metabolism and here we are discussing one of the pathways of glucose metabolism that is glycogenolysis so as the name is indicating here glycogen glycogenolysis so glycogen is a glycogen it is indicating the glycogen you know in our body the glucose that is form in our body it uh, uh, monosaccharide units uh, means uh, uh, add together and form polysaccharide and large stores of polysaccharide stored in our liver and muscle cell in the form of glycogen so they serve in the muscles and liver Uh, uh till then we need energy in our body whenever we uh, need energy in our body so this glycogen store um uh, means uh, uh, break down uh, this glycogen uh, that is the collection you can say collection of uh, sugars or collection of uh, carbohydrates molecule or collection of uh, glucose molecules so whenever our, our body needs uh, uh, glucose or energy so this glycogen um, molecule uh, uh, the glucose molecule release from this glycogen molecule how this these releases from the uh, glycogen uh, stores uh, we will uh, be seeing here in this lecture so this process is called uh, called as glycogenolysis uh, glycogenolysis means when glycogen store release uh, energy in the form of sugar so um, here uh, we, uh, what happen in the glycogenolysis um, uh, the glycogenolysis is the uh, process of breakdown of glycogen into glucose and and uh, this process produce energy so this uh, um, pathway takes place in liver and muscles because the glycogen always store in our liver and in the muscle in the form of uh, you know you can say the glucose uh, so how this pathway takes place and how this pathway extract energy whenever body need energy so uh, the glycogen glucose in the form of the glycogen store in our muscles and livers what have uh, happened whenever our body needs energy this glycogen convert into glucose one phosphate glucose one phosphate <coughs> excuse me glucose one phosphate by the action of enzyme glycogen phosphorylase alpha 14 alpha 14 glucan transferase and amylo alpha 16 glucosidase these enzyme work on glycogen molecule and then this glycogen convert into glucose one phosphate and this glucose one phosphate then convert into glucose six phosphate by the help of an enzyme glucose uh, phosphoglucomutase and then this uh, this uh, happen in the muscles glucose one phosphate convert into glucose six phosphate in the that is a form of sugar and this glucose 6 phosphate you know uh, uh, recalling here in the uh, uh, cycle of glycolysis what happened in the glycolysis that glycolysis the cycle of the breakdown of glucose that produces energy so whenever our body needs energy what happened uh, whenever uh, our body need energy and not, we are not having glucose in the body means we are not taking glucose from the outside so what happened that the energy is released from the stores of uh, glucose that are glycogen so what happened here glycogen uh, convert into glucose one phosphate and by the action of these enzyme and this glucose one phosphate convert into glucose six phosphate in the muscles this happen in the muscles and gl this glucose six phosphate then enter into the glycolytic pathway and they produce energy in the form of atp through the glycolysis pathway and what happened in the liver in the liver liver is having glucose six phosphate and the liver enzyme glucose six phosphatase act on this glucose 6 phosphate and convert this glucose 6 phosphate to glucose 
this happen in the liver so uh, uh, as the name of enzyme indicate what are phosphatases phosphatases are the enzyme that take off phosphate group from a substrate and kinases are the enzyme that add a kinase group in the substrate so this was the whole um, pathway of glycolysis you have to just keep remember that uh, this this is the whole pathway of glycogenolysis you have to just uh, keep in your mind that glycogenolysis is the pathway of glycogen breakdown whenever and it it takes place in your muscles and in your liver you are in your muscles and you your liver is having the glucose stores in the form of glycogen whenever you take uh, <coughs> uh, take up uh, take up uh, glucose uh, as a food or uh, your body synthesize glucose so the these glucose when uh, uh, present in your body in excess amount so these glucose convert into glycogen and this glycogen is stored in your muscle cell and in your liver and whenever your body needs energy and you are not taking glucose from the outside of your body so what happened your body used this stores of glucose that are present in your muscle and your liver in the form of glycogen so your body what uh, how use this uh, uh, means uh, how use this glucose that are stored in your muscles and your liver in the form of glycogen uh, the, uh, your body use these stores in uh, by by the pathway of glycogenolysis so what this glycogenolysis pathway do this is the pathway this is the uh, metabolic reaction by this uh, metabolic reaction glycogen stores breakdown into the simpler form of glucose or glycogen stores uh, release energy in the form of glucose and this glucose you know take, go, uh, uh, go into the uh, glycolysis uh, pathway that we have studied previously and then produce energy in the form of ATP that ATP use we use for our work so this was the about the glycogenolysis so uh, for more um, information you can use these books and thank you very much this was whole about my lecture number two so to understand lecture number two you have to study lecture number two part one lecture number two part two and lecture number two part three thank you very much and allow